Now we have two bonds. Consider the insurance company has two bonds it could use to fund a future liability of $265.33. And this is due in 10 years. They could choose bond A, which has a coupon rate of 10%, a face value of $1,000, and a yield to maturity of, a, of 10%, and a maturity of 10 years. Now, the price is going to be $100 because yield to maturity is equal to the coupon rate. Bond B is a zero coupon bond with a face value of $265.33. That means in, in yield to maturity of 10% and a maturity of 10 years, which means that in 10 years from now, it will receive $265.33. So if we look at this, since the uh, bond A, the uh, coupon rate is equal to the yield to maturity, the bond will sell for face value or par. For bond B, the zero coupon bond, it's $265 received at the end of 10 years, which on a six-month semi-annual basis is 20 periods. And if we discount the, that 265 at 10% on a semi-annual basis for 20, of 20 semi-annual periods, we get a price of 100 Now, here's the thing. Now I want to consider holding period returns. And what I mean by this is well, how much will you have depending upon how long you hold the bond. So let's start with the assumption that you hold the bond all the way to maturity. So if you buy bond A and hold it for 10 years, assuming that you reinvest the coupons that you receive over time at 10%, okay, that will accumulate over 10 years to $165.33. At the end of 10 years, you also get the par value of 100. So the total that you accumulate at the end of year two is $265.33. If you buy and hold bond B for 10 years, you get the par value of $265.33. Now, if interest rates at which you can invest the coupon payments do not change, then you'd be indifferent between buying the 10% coupon bond and the zero coupon bond and holding them for 10 years. Because in each case, the payoff would be exactly the same. However, and this is a big however, okay, interest rates do change. If interest rates do change, then the amount available with the 10% coupon bond will depend upon the reinvestment rate of the coupons. For example, if immediately after you buy bond A, uh, the, the interest rates shift from 10% to 8%, the coupons over 10 years will accumulate to $148.89. You get the face value, and your total payoff will be $248.89. On the other hand, if they immediately shift after you buy the bond to 12%, basically the coupons will accumulate to $183.93, and you still get the $100 face value at the end, and the total you have available to you is $283.93. So basically what we have here is if you buy bond A, the insurance company will basically have reinvestment rate risk. It's going to depend upon what happens to interest rates over the life of the bond.